And tell us some of the stories of how people came, you know, close to Islam, became Muslim just because of the Quran. I'll tell you a story from last night. So I taught Surah Taha last night, some lessons from Surah Taha and the beauty of the story of Musa alayhi salam and how Allah tells it. And at the end of it, a young woman came up to me uh, of, I think, Chinese origin, but a, a British-raised uh, uh, young woman. And she came up to me and says, I, I've been thinking about Islam, and I was really moved by these lessons from the Qur'an, and, um, but I'm not sure if I want to become Muslim. And I said, what's holding you back? And she said, I'm not sure. And I said, you have to give me a better answer than that. And she thought about it, and she said, my parents, my friends, you know, people around me, pressure, stress. I said, those are all really good reasons. I said, I, I, can't, I can't compete with that. And I'm not going to tell you that if you accept Islam and you accept this book, that it's going to be easy. I think you're gonna have, those relationships will suffer for sure. I'm telling you now, it'll be hard. People will be very angry with you. But what I can tell you is the peace you're going to enjoy in your heart and the relationship you'll get with Allah is worth the price. And she started crying. She's standing there, she's just crying. And I asked her, I told her, you know why you're crying? And she said, why? I said, because you've already accepted. Your heart already accepted Islam. And she was crying even more. And you know, I said, you know, when you're crying, it reminds me of an ayah. You know who min al-dhammar? Their eyes, roll, tears roll out of their eyes. And she starts crying even more. Then I said, you know, when you... You, you're, you're crying like you're about to make a decision, but you've already made, the train already left the station, and you're asking me, should you get on it or not? You're already on it. And it already left the station. And what are you worried about losing company for? Allah says, وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ لَنُدْخِلَنَّهُمْ فِي الصَّالِحِينَ Those who believe and do good things, Allah will enter them absolutely into the company of the righteous. This ayah was given in Surah Al-Ankabut to companions who lost their family. Because of Islam. And Allah said, yes, you've lost one family, I'll give you another one. I'll give you a believing family. Believers will become your family. And she says to me, how do I take the shahada? How do I become Muslim? I said, you take the shahada. She said, how do I do that? And she repeated the shahada after me. SubhanAllah.